as a marketer you may want to capture the data from the users so one of the easiest way to capture data from users is to have a google form so we will learn how to uh, create a google form and how to share it with others so first of all you have to go to your uh, gmail account and then you have to go to drive.google.com which is the url for the google drive and then you have to click on new and then you have to click on more and then you have to click on google forms so there are a few things which you really need to remember like uh, change um, like the permissions which you have to set for the submitters because if you won't then they won't be able to uh, submit their data so you really have to ensure that all the settings of the form are correct so now first of all we have to enter the forms name which could be welcome to being skilled and then the questions may start like your full name and then what type of data would it be would it be a short answer or a paragraph or multi choice or checkbox so since we know it it should be a short answer and is it required yes it is then check it and then click on add to add more options now let's say we want to know about the location and it would it would be a multi choice question so option one could be usa and fourth can be india and then is it a required field yes it is then just click on it if you want to duplicate the data or the field or the question you can do that by clicking on duplicate and here you can just change uh, let's say we just typing subject and then english math science and you can delete the option by clicking on this cross button and then it is a required field as well and now let's create a fourth field which can be tell us about yourself so these questions can be anything whatsoever you want and we are changing the type of question to paragraph because this will be a descriptive question and then is it a required field yes it is then just click on it so beauty of google forms is that it automatically saves the data so as it as we can see all changes saved in for drive so it happens automatically and it also suggests the file's name so here we have welcome to being skilled we can just type being skilled first campaign because in marketing everything is mostly a campaign and then you can change the color of the google form so it can be blue or red or purple or violet or green so it can be any it can be of any color whatsoever you want you may want to have the color of your logo so in that case you can just browse in and have a customized image for your form or you can have different images which are suggested by the google so it's your choice and then you can just have a preview look so that you will know what is going to be shared with others so this is how the form will look like which is fairly what we have entered now if you want to change the se settings which is really required then just look into it and as it shows require sign in restrict to university.com users this is a terrible idea to do it this is to be used only when you are sharing it across your company for some feedback but in case you want to share it uh, with your customers so anyone who is not in your google apps account or doesn't have the google apps account in your organization then just uncheck this 
if you will keep this checked then others won't be able to um, to fill the form which is a which is not something which you you may want can users submit more than one responses if yes then you don't have to check it but if you want to limit them with one response then just check this one so respondents can edit after submit if you want so let's say um, it's a it's a feedback and after some time they change it so do you want them to allow changes if yes then just click on it if no then just leave it like this see summary charts and text responses if you want them to see uh, what is the summary chart look like then do do you want them to see if yes then check on it if not then just leave it aside so it can be when you are asking for a favor for some for some feedback from masses and you may want to share the data with others then you can use it now presentation if you want to show them the progress bar uh, which is a nice idea and if the form is fairly long then you can show the progress bar check on it shuffle, shuffle question order so in case you are quizzing them with, then you may want to shuffle the question order because then people may cheat may copy answers with others now quizzes so make it a quiz and uh, you can even gr send the grades to the email IDs which is really interesting respondents can see missed questions correct answers point values so very nice option in case you want to make a quiz out of it we will be covering this in next video but for now we have just saved the settings and then send and over here we can send it through email we can send it send the link directly or we can do the social sharing on google facebook twitter and then we have this embed link so we can embed it on our web page of our website so mostly you will be copying this this link so if you want you can shorten it as well and share it across different platforms or websites or easiest would be to send uh, send an email directly from here and then you can just copy and then close and you are done you will be seeing all the responses over here and you can export them in an excel file by clicking on this link and this will open an excel file in the google drive and you can see all the responses over there so this is how we use google drives google form so you have just learnt it which is fairly easy to you use you just have to go to drive.google.com and then click on the new and then go to more and then click on google forms and then follow the instructions as they were given in this video and you will have a brand new google form for yourself thank you for watching the tutorial please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from being skilled